Hello everyone, welcome to Ms. Blanks' virtual math class. Today we will be comparing objects and using comparative language. The curve. You will know sets can represent a number that is than, less than, and equal to a given number. You will understand how sets represent a number that is more than, less than, and equal to a given number. And you will be able to compare sets that represent a number that is more than, less than, and equal to a given number. All right, so let's start with what we know. Let's count backwards starting from the number five and watch the numbers decrease, then we'll compare the Legos. Ready? Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good job. All right, so let's compare. Okay, so which color Lego has the most circles? or has more circles? Yes, the yellow one, good job. So we could say that the yellow Lego has more circles than the others. Or another word that we could use is greater because greater means more. So we could say the yellow Lego is greater than the rest of the Legos. All right, so yesterday we talked about items being greater than, less than, or equal to. Do you remember why it's important to be able to compare numbers? Well, it's important because we need to know if we have enough or not enough, or if we have the same amount. And remember, compare means to describe objects using words like more, less, or the same. And remember, we compare the MMs. Okay, so we tried to figure out which one had more, and we said the red. All right, so these are the vocabulary that we're going to use. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. So this is the vocabulary that we're going to use, okay? We have equal to, and remember that means the same. If you look at the red flowers and the yellow flowers, that's the same. And then the phrase down here, using comparative language, says three is equal to three, okay? Then we have less than, and that means not as much, okay? And if you look at the picture, they circled the set of flowers that was less, that did not have as much, okay? And then the comparative language sentence says three, because this is three flowers, is less than, because less means not as much, five, because these are five blue flowers. And then we have greater than, and greater than means more. And if you notice, they circled the set of flowers that had more, okay? And the comparative language phrase says five is more than two, okay? And remember, this one, two, three, four, five, and that's the one that they circled, is more than two, okay? It's more than two. So that's what we're going to practice doing today. All right, so this show this set shows equal amounts of cars, okay? So why can we say that these cars, both sets of cars are equal? If you said because they have the same number or they have the same amount, you are correct, yes. Both sets of cars are equal because one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Good job, awesome. Let's go to the next one. All right, so this looks a bit different. So this set shows three cars right here. One, two, three, okay? This set shows less cars, one, two, okay? So how, how why are they able to say that this set of cars shows less? Yes, because the blue square has less because it's not as much as the cars in the pink square because the car in the pink square has one, two, three, and the cars in the blue have one, two, okay? So we could say that two is less than three. All right, so let's do this one together. This set shows how many cars, so let's count. One, two, okay, so we have two. Now, let's look at the blue square, okay? 
does this set show more or less? Looking at the blue, okay? And we're comparing it with the pink square. Does it show more or less? Yes, there's more. How do you know? Well, if you count one, two, three, okay? then you can notice that there are more cars than the pink square, okay? Because the pink square only has one, two, okay? And even when you look at them, I'm sorry. Even when you look at them, you can see that the blue square, of course, has more cars, okay? Great job. All right, so your assignment, you will compare the sets of boots and hats below, okay? Be sure to use your comparative language. All right, see you soon.